Give him a voice. Let me think. One sec. Okay, I think I got one. Wait, Rachel. It's me. I'm not even giving him a voice, just my regular voice. I cannot do voices very good. Huh? Don't you recognize me? I was the one who examined you. Can you try to remember? I'm, I'm the doctor who gave you counseling. The doctor who ex examined me? Rachel, what's wrong? Look, it's me, Dr. Danny. Danny, alright, we have met Danny. Could it be Dr. Dr. Danny, my therapist? You're a little confused, huh? But I don't blame you. This place is horrific. But rest assured, it is I, your therapist, right? Ah, that's right. Yes, doctor. Good, besides all that, you're safe. What on earth is this place? Also, something was chasing me. What is that thing? Uh, I'm not entirely sure myself, but the thing chasing you is probably the psycho killer. The psycho killer? This place, it's like a site for some game. Being haunted by a psycho serial killer and, a, and good as dead if caught, it says that it chases its victims. Are you not hurt, doctor? I was here when I... When I came to, it looked like there's no other staff here but me. Doctor, I'm absolutely petrified. Rachel, it's perfectly natural to be scared. At any rate, let's get going. It's possible I'd like to get through this whole ordeal alive with you. Yes, doctor. All right, so Dr. Danny. Is there anything in here? Locked. I'm pretty sure there was a key in the examination room. Okay. Something's on the chair. Nice job, Rachel. I'm pretty sure I was sitting there. You didn't try to escape? Well, I was worried about you. Besides, you've got a good head on your shoulders, so I knew you'd make it this far. 
bed is neatly made. Aren't your eyes tired? How about you take a nap? At a time like this? You're right. Well, Rachel, you must be as sharp as a tack to take notice of something like that. Alright. Oh, look at this room over here. It appears to be locked. Hmm, I wonder where the key is. the door. Hooray. Oh shit, I just smacked my mic. Perhaps the way out is further towards the back. Let's process with caution. It looks like there are multiple rooms. I think the one in the back is the way out, so shall we look there first? There's a gate. Doctor, there's a gate. A glass wall is blocking the way to the other side. We're glassed in! As fate would have it, it appears you and I are trapped. Okay. This way is locked too. Shall we look somewhere else? We'll be fine if we stay together and take our time. Maybe it'll lead to something good. Some things good for the both of us. Go in this room. Ah, this must be a private room. For patients? Yes, a special one. You mean the crazy ones? <laughs> Did you know what your heart wishes for? I said do... Yes, I did read that right, okay. Is it desire? Is that, if that's, if that is your impulse, then there's no point to resist. For being here, you process no such. I can't read, I'm so sorry. However, every wish has its price. Just don't break the rules. Rules? There must be rules for this place. For instance, that guy chasing you hasn't followed you all the way here. There's gotta be some set of rules this place follows. I'm gonna give him that voice. What do we wish for? What does that mean? Well, different strokes for different folks, I guess. For me, it'll be a set of beautiful peepers. I got a bad eye. Don't care for its color either. Rachel, if I had peepers like yours, that would be oh, so lovely. <laughs> okay. What is in this room? This is a patient's room. Don't be scared, Rachel. It's just a bunch of beds. They look comfortable. <laughs> The bed is neatly made, but is a bit dusty. Probably the same for this one. The okay, alright. There's a glass window, but it has no depths, and it looks like a prompt. Some sort of scratch marks are on it. Yeah, I said on it because I don't feel like reading all of it. Rachel! Do you know what these mark markings are? Hmm? Here's a hint. Patients made these scratches, so what's their sci- sign if Oh my god. I can't do it in that voice. That's a- Beats me. That's okay. Markings made by patients are no coincidences. Consequences to you. I don't know how to read, but, you know, I can try. <laughs> There's something written on the wall, but it's covered in dust and illegible. 
I gotta get rid of that dust. I wouldn't do that if I were you. You'll get something in your eyes. That surely. If you guys hear yelling, it's probably my sister. Okay, back to the game. <laughs> That's surely just some sort of patience. Furisable whimpers. Just a regular Joe's physic physical grip, that's all. Can you make it out? Nah, I got a bad eye, so it wouldn't do much to read it. But the dust. Stop right there, you don't want to get anything in your eyes. Take care of those beautiful peepers. Those beautiful, beautiful peepers of yours. Oh, yes. Come to think of it, I had the key that leads to the back. Feel like taking a look there pretty soon. Of course, it been a pleasure being with you, though. All right. Okay, I'll open it then. It's open now. It's dark, so be careful. All right. An operating room? Yes, Rachel. I'm a little scared. Scared why? Hey, Rachel. Your peepers, can I admire them forever? Oh, this man scares me. <laughs> oh, Rachel. Your peepers are so beautiful. I can't keep on saying that word. It's so weird. <laughs> But they are striking in with fear, reduced to such dullness. It saddens me. Show me the true beauty of your eyes. We'll awaken doom this nightmare resort. Restore the beautiful trance quality of the that blue moon in your peepers. Rachel, I I long to live beside those peepers. Uh, doctor? Let's take a minute to look around here. Maybe I'll find something. I left something important around here. I gotta find it. Maybe I'll find some peace of mind too, Rachel. Hopefully I said that word because my recording Rachel are you going further it's dark in that hallway so be careful if you find what I'm looking for there then please bring it to me what are you looking for doctor did you forget look at me with those beautiful peepers I know you'll remember here's a clue oh my mom's coming I gotta turn off my All right, anyway, my eyes. Alexandrit, I can't read, but you know, what is this place? Is what you're looking for around here, doctor? The bottles contain some sort of specimens <laughs> sit side by side okay all right why is this drawer open <laughs> which one should I take I'll take the red one red is a pretty color doctor is this what you're looking for here, Doctor. Rachel. What a lovely red glass eye. I fan fancy this color. 
Is that why you chose this color? Were you thinking of me? Still, you were close, but no. But no, sticker. I'll keep it though, okay? Alright. Maybe he will like. What's this? Numerous eyeballs are popping up and down in what appears to be a case contained. Okay. These are eyes. They're all blue. Like my eyes! They're blue! Rachel's eyes are blue. Here, Doc. Green, I see. Did you pick this out for me? Rachel, I could have slipped into your subconscious, but you're getting warmer. Point your beautiful gaze at me. It's just me, Dr. Danny. Okay, Dr. Danny. Um, there's only one glass eye left, so we're just gonna take the blue eye. I got a blue eye. Here, doctor. Aha, Rachel. Is this for me? You know I adore blue eyes, much like yours. But I don't need a blue one to your peepers. This pales in comparison. Where peepers are blue, all I need is you. Oh, I almost dropped my controller. I'm so sorry. Alright, back to talking. Oh, Rachel. I was so careless, my glass eyes in a place that's locked. And that key was in my pocket all along. Here. If it's all right with you, I'd like you to find my eye. Won't you do that for me, Rachel? All right. Okay, my sister is being dumb. Bottles contain some. Okay. Is it over? Here? Key, should it be used on the shelf with all those glass eyes inside? Where is the shelf? Somewhere that's locked. Here. Open the drawer. Lock. A glass eye is inside. This glass eye it has two eyeballs jammed inside it. Rachel. Doctor. Ah, uh, shit. If I have to do his voice any longer, I need to... I might have to go get some water. Oh, you found it. This is what I was looking for. Is this glass eye yours? It sure is. Doesn't it make you feel anything? Remember anything? You must have been dreaming still. Mind if I borrow that? Oh shit, I gotta go get some fucking water.
All right, I got some water. I'm just not myself unless it's in. I must have it in for both of us. Rachel. Yes. Thank you, Rachel. I'm going to put it in now. Could you go wait in the room outside for a bit? Oh, God. Oh, God, that sound. Oh, she's just running. Okay. You mustn't run now. Okay, Dr. Danny. That's funny. He's acting strange. I'm scared. Is it safe to stay and wait for him here? No, it's not. Get the key. It's probably a key somewhere. It appears to be a device used for surgery. Alright, well, I guess... We're just gonna leave. It's locked. Do doctor, did you do this? We gotta get away from him. We need to find something to open this. I wonder if there's something around here. Around where the doctor was earlier. Something behind the... Okay. Fire crowbar. This ought to take care of that doctor. Yeah, beat him with it. It won't open just with my hands. Let's just scroll bar. I'll just pop this into the camera. It's rigged, but... Just a bit more. There, it opened. Rachel. Where are you going? I, um, didn't I tell you that running, running's a bad idea? This is my floor. D doctor, if you run off to another floor, then I can't treat you. Can I? No, doctor. My wish was just to gaze into your living peepers but no this won't do your living blue peepers are exactly what the doctor ordered that's why I gotta ask you Rachel can I have your peepers oh Jesus let go of me oh god never never Oh, Rachel, your face. Stop it, let me go. The experience I loved is no longer in your papers. It saddens me so, Rachel. Can't you remember why it is you're here? Why this is happening to you? If you could, then you'd redeem yourself. Let your peepers regain their lust and come live with me, Rachel. No? Please, Doctor, please let me out of here. Rachel, you're st still, your peepers are, <laughs> peepers, what the fuck? Still, your peepers are more breathtaking than the, uh, than any other person's by far. Ah, uh, let me go. I... <laughs> ah, ah, let me go. I want to see my mom and dad. Rachel. There, there. You'll see your mom and dad in good time. They're waiting for you. Inhale. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, Rachel, give me your peepers. Rachel? Rachel. 
Rachel. Oh my, your peepers are so beautiful. It never <laughs> keezes to amaze me. Creases, I can't read. Here, I'll release you from this right now. All right, let's go, Rachel. Oh, I'm so happy as a lurk. You. <laughs> so happy about I couldn't take it anymore so I slashed you hey little missy going after you got me in a hell of a mess do you want to live if you do then run run and squirm cling it to your hope time to get slashed Even with the tip of my blade pressed against you, you don't even have the will to live. I'm a respectable man adult, so I'm not into shredding emotionless dolls. <laughs> Traitor alert! The Big Four Master has attacked the Fifth Floor Master. This is a violation of the rules. Along with Rachel, the traitor also is now a nearby sacrifice. <laughs> Better run for it. Oh, yeah. I'm not meant to live. to do creepy shit like that. Oh shit, I'm I'm actually I'm fucking hungry. He puked and I thought he laughed. I'm very stupid, but you know. I'm gonna eat my ice. I got no time for creepy bitches like you. You're just gonna, if you're just gonna spit out creepy shit like that, how about getting this door open? You got it. <laughs> He's irritated. He's so pissed off at me. Thank you. 
course. I like her hair. Are you the one who opened this elevator? Yep, that's right. Ha ha ha! So it was you, huh? Hey, didn't you say or you wanted me? <laughs> Why? <laughs> hey, <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, didn't you say earlier that you wanted me to kill you? I sure did. I'm such an idiot, so yeah. Let's work together to get the hell out of this place. And then once you're... I... I... For a licking outside with a goddamn stupid grin. I'll... Kill you. Really? Well, that is if you behave. Okay. Alright, now let's get the hell out of this place. It's Zack. Hey! I got two rules. No fucking around, and no prancing around all mercy-like. I got a big problem with fuckers who look so happy. Whenever I see him, I can't help but kill him. Alright. Whatever you say. Well, that... Well, with that dead look in your eyes... I probably ain't gonna worry. still only on B4? Let's get out of here already. Move it. Something's in the water. Hey! What is it? What the hell is that thing? No clue. You don't know? Then how the hell am I supposed to know? I see. Staring at something all day isn't gonna help you understand it better. Now move it. Graves. A grave? Ah, oh, no wonder it smells like blood. Wanna try digging it up? You're no fun. It's just a grave. Do you want to get it, get in that badly? But this one won't do. It's already a cold. Something shiny can be seen in the grave. Huh? What the heck are you doing? What 
are you fumbling around there for? Is something down there? I can't reach it. Oh, just do this. Ah, oh, but the body. Its leg fell off. We got a key. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I've been recording for like two hours, maybe. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.